Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and today I'm here to show you the latest creative Bible called the Message Canvas Bible, Coloring and Journaling the Story of God. This Bible was translated by Eugene Peterson. It is a paraphrased Bible. What that means is it's more like a story as opposed to a word-for-word -word translation of the Bible. So you would use this type of Bible alongside a, a Bible that's more closely related to the, trans, the original scripture. But I find this Bible to be very, very helpful, especially for a new um, new Christians, new, new people to the Word. It really helps you uh, understand more and you won't get caught up in, in the language um, that sometimes comes along with like a King James Version. The publisher of this one is Nav Press. It was released February 1st of 2017. It comes in this beautiful orange and green uh, box <laughs> of sorts. And um, you know, you have the Bible here, and you have the back as well, and it's just really beautiful packaging, which makes it really great for gift giving. The retail price on this book is $39.99, and the publisher, it looks like that was, it's done by Nav Press, but it was produced also by Tyndall, so good to know that as well. So let's take it out of the package and explore it. Okay. It, um, it really does, it's so funny because it's named Canvas, and it really does have a canvas cover to it. And it's just super cool. I actually have it turned up backwards here. But I just, I looked at this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect for artists and painters and, and, the, and everything. I just, when I opened it the first time and looked at it real briefly, I was just super excited. Like it just is a beautiful, beautiful color with such love you know, lovely, lovely colors. It's like a bunch of paint splashes on it. So I was just really excited to see it. Let's go ahead and weigh the weigh it, get the scale on, so you guys can know how heavy it is. I know that it's important when you're carrying these things around that it not <laughs> be too heavy in your bag. So especially if you're carrying it around in, in a little purse and to church all the time. So this one is two pounds, 8.55 ounces. So that means it's a little bit less than three pounds. And so if you're going to be carrying this around without a lot of embellishments and things in it, you're slightly under three pounds. Now let's go ahead and open this Bible. When you open the Bible, you get the standard things where you can write the tune from the date, all the dedications, and it's just really a beautiful orange kind of color, so you want to make sure that if, when you're coloring this page that you coordinate with that color. Most of the time, when you open these type of Bibles, uh, it's black, <laughs> so now you're, you're getting a little bit of a tint to it. So make sure that whenever you color it, if you do color it, that it is, you do match that. And then we get into the black. So just tells you a little bit about the message. Goes right into a beautiful design of a bird you can see here. And then right into the cover. Then you go into the table of contents. I just love the flowers you're using. And I have to tell you, the reason why I purchased this book, um, the Bible was, you know, number one, because I collect Bibles. But besides that, the art that I saw initially in this Bible through some of the reviews, I just fell in love. And I was, I was like, I have to get into the message now because I want to color on these beautiful, beautiful illustrations. So you get the table of the contents, you get the, um, just a little bit of background for the reader. Tells you a little bit about the message and how it was, you know, why, you know, why it was created and, and how do you actually read it and how it differs from other translations. And then it just talks a little bit about Eugene Peterson. Then you go in straight into the Old Testament and um, all the way, you know, into Genesis. And so you get a really beautiful picture here. Um, again, what happens with some of these Bibles that you're getting where they have the coloring pages is sometimes you'll get a coloring page on one side and then you'll get like a coloring page or something on the other side. Now this isn't really a coloring page, but you can see because the Bible pages are so thin, you are able to see this on this side onto this side. So if you color on this page, I promise you, you will be able to see some of that come through on this side. So just be wary of that. And this is pretty much true with almost every creative Bible that has the line art already in it like this. 
But oh my goodness, isn't this just beautiful, beautiful um, line art to, to draw? It's just amazing. So one thing I wanted to let you know about this particular version of the Bible is you're not going to get your verses. So where you would say, oh, Genesis 1-1, Genesis, you know, 1-2, you're not going to get those. You're getting just Genesis 1. And so you're having to read this like a story. So you can't really set reference a particular verse in the Bible because it's not matching the Bible. Again, it's not a word-for-word -word translation. It's not a thought-for-thought -thought translation. So you can't go from, you know, this Bible, which is a paraphrased Bible, a story, then to match it up with your trans, your um, word for word or thought for thought translation, like an NIV or ESV or you know King James version. So I hope that makes sense. So that is the downfall: is that you just can't go and look up a specific uh, verse, but you do get the chapters, so you pretty much you know will understand what's going on. Now, as you go through this, it um, looks like you are getting the two-inch column, which is awesome. Um, and the pages, they're pretty thin. I, I believe they're, they are just as thin as most of the Bibles um, that are journaling Bibles. It seems to be the same type of thickness. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's extra thick. So just be careful and know that before you buy. Um, you want to make sure that if you are using ink that you are using a little bit of gesso so you don't get the bleed through that you get with most. Um, but I do recommend a wonderful gel set, uh, pencil set that's a very affordable on our site at BibleJournalingMinistries.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of flip through this so you just kind of get a, a feeling for some of the beautiful um, art, line art that's in here. And I really think that's really cool that these um, chapters, so you have Genesis 17, you have the 17 here, that you can actually color these letters in, these numbers in. So it's kind of fun, like that's a little extra, and I don't think that you would notice that unless someone would say, you know, unless you were actually journaling in here and you're like, oh yeah, I can color that. And that would be great because as you're going and reading this as a story, if you colored the, the actual chapter numbers, then you would know that you had visited that chapter. So you can remember, <laughs> you know, because you don't have the verses, at least you could mark that you were through that chapter. So if I, when I start to use this Bible, I'll be coloring in the chapters as I read, and then I'll be coloring also the line art. But isn't this line art just amazing? I'm just so impressed with it. I just want to just spend all the time in the world just coloring on this Bible because it's that really awesome. <laughs> So I can't, I can sit here and flip through it all day, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and give you just a quick little, uh, we'll do a quick little um, uh, flip through so we can see some of the, the neat ones like this one, the little lamb, and then um, some of these other ones that are coming out as being just super cool. But, you know, I'm a big fan of the Inspire Bible and the Beautiful Word Bible. I just love those Bibles, but... The art in this one is just gorgeous. And it's just, it's so much different than the other ones. Like the Beautiful Word Bible has just a lot of words, obviously, because it's the Beautiful Word Bible. But this one has like just really beautiful line art that you can just color in. You know, you could I can imagine just taking some, you know, watercolor you know, and then just kind of bringing it, bringing it up on, on the page. And we're just going to have so much fun in this Bible. I can already tell you, it's, it's just going to be delightful. But, you know, again, it's very, you know, one of the great things that they're doing in this Bible is they're not really, you're not getting a different kind of art feel. I mean, it's all very similar, you know, with the swirls and the, you know, and the, and the um, you know, patterns and the flowers that they're putting in there. So you're not getting anything that's like super like, oh, that's just totally out of order. It's or out of um, out of context. No, all of this, all of this is is very much well done. Well done. OK, so oh, that's going to be super fun. So I'm not going to sit here and flip through the entire book, but you get the picture. You get to see um, all of the the beautiful artwork and you're and it looks like you're getting one like every you know three or four you know pages here so you get another one and then one couple pages 
So you're going to be able to use this for both, you know, coloring in it as well as creating your own and uh, using digital templates like the ones we have on our website. So uh, feel free to go to BibleJournalingMinistries.com if you would like any of those free templates that we have. We send them out every month. Isn't that just great? Yeah, so um, super excited. Um, I will have to tell, I will have to say that I'm going to eat my words a little bit because when I opened the Bible, there was the line art on one side and, and then the line art on the other. But as I flipped through it, they were really smart in doing one every three or four pages. So you're not having to, you're not seeing, you know, line art on this side and line art on this side like you have in the Inspire and, and the um, Beautiful Word Bible. Um, um, line art Bibles. So yeah, this is called a line out art Bible just to let you know as as I talk about that a lot in um, some of our free courses on our on our website. So I'm just gonna you know quickly flip through here so you get a view. You had the Old Testament, obviously you also have the New Testament. And and yeah, it's just really, really gorgeous. And I know that it's on sale, so I will definitely link up at below for you so that you can get the sales price. In terms of the binding, the binding is is pretty sturdy. Um, it does have a it does have a bookmark, and it's beautiful orange. And you know, it's funny is I'm actually not like the biggest fan of orange, but man, when I saw this Bible, I I just I was just wow. Like it's the the this the design of it and the color of it just was just awesome okay so let's let me just finish up through um the last few in revelations because uh, revelations is my most favorite book as you know probably if you've watched any of my videos and um wow i want to do one real quick um spot check here to make sure that these verses that you're getting in the line art actually pertain to this the same um book i just want to double check that so we're on ezekiel 8 and we're getting ezekiel 8 that's good you know, you never want to get a Bible that, like, a creative Bible where it's, you know, like, we're in Hosea, but if this wasn't a, Ho a verse from Hosea, that would, or if it was a verse from, like, Mark, it would be awkward, right? So it's good just to spot check to make sure that, you know, this is Matthew 16 and you're getting it on Matthew 16. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. This is um, Mark 11, and Mark 11 is on this page. Okay. Yeah, at least it's right, you know, real close to where where it's supposed to be. Luke 6, Luke 6. Okay, so perfect. I'm so proud of the, the, the publisher who created this. This is an amazing, amazing Bible. And I'm so excited to have the opportunity to uh, color in it. Okay, so now we get to, let's do the last one too. So Revelations 22 and, um, oh, very good. So the last one is the last one. Yeah. Okay, so this one says, yes, come Master Jesus, the grace of the Master Jesus be with all of you. Oh yes, from Revelations 22 message. Fabulous. Okay, then you get into the, to the topical verse guide and they didn't cheat you out on another line art, so you can feel free to do, you know do that one as well. And I love when they give you the topical verses because if you're struggling with, with anger or you're struggling with your marriage or you're struggling with, you know, anything health or doubt or finances you know you just go to the topical verse in the back you know and pick it and then go and read it and be in the word and have god speak to you um in where where you are and then you have um the index of the illustrated verses this is fabulous so if you're looking to say okay i want to illustrate in genesis 131 then i'm going to go to page two or if i want to color uh revelations you know, 15, I need to go to page 1498. So that is great that you have the index of illustrated verses. Fabulous. And then you have the final one here on the back, which is your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. I'm back home in the house of God for the rest of my life from Psalms 23, the message. Wow. Okay. So if you haven't gathered by now. And I don't know if I told you, saw, said that this is the canvas. You can see the, the title here. And um, yeah, it's just a durable Bible. You know what would have been really cool? Here's what would have been cool. So yeah, I said the downfall was that you didn't get the numbers, you know, in the scripture verses. Um, you know, another downfall is you're not, you don't get the little strappy that you get in the Inspire hardback um, Bible. So, but you know what? <laughs> still would buy this Bible because it's so awesome. 
Anyways, um, that's all I have to say to you. And I uh, wanted to let you know that if you're looking for a Bible, we do have a Bible journaling selection tool because you need to find the Bible that's right for you. We often say start at translation and then you know decide based on your creative style which is the right Bible for you. So we have created a, a quiz essentially on BibleJournalingMinistries.com. Just look under um, tools and it will be there. I'll link up for it here so that you can find the right Bible that's for you. Don't just take my word for it. Just don't, you know, I love all the Bibles, but <laughs> but this one is just, you know, five stars, guys. Well done. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.